So today I'm going to test out the Hobart 210 MVP. It supports 115 volts or 230 volts. We'll see what we have in here. Instruction manual. That. Instructions for the regulator. We've got our regulator hose. 030 flux cord wire. We've got our 230 volt plug. Our 115 volt plug. Work lead. Two O three O tips and metal thickness gauge. Also, we have our regulator, warranty claim, our gun. Looks like ten feet. And our welder. Right off the bat, looks like we have to hook up our work lead. Get it nice and tight. Right off the bat, I want to check to see our polarity. Right now, you can see it's set up for flux cord wire. Right now, I'm going to set it up for solid wire. While we're in here, I guess you can see you can run a spool gun attachment or you can run your MIG gun. So to run your spool gun attachment, you just click up or down for your gun. Here we have our tensioning knob. This is kind of nice, it's on a spring. A lot of them you just flip up or they'll fall back down. Our drive roller. Looks like there's three different options. I don't know if you can see that, but we have a groove roller for 035 flux cord. Next one we have for 030, 030 and flux cord 030, and then we have 023. And that's set on a spring. Let's pop this in. And then right on the drive roller, you have your markings for 024, 030, and 035. So we're going to leave it on 035. This will take a uh, 2 pound spool or a 10 pound spool. Let's take this off. I've got a new spool here of 035 solid wire. And just feed it in. So now we'll take our MIG gun. So we'll stick the end of our gun right here in this hole. And push it all the way through. We'll tighten this wing nut. We'll take this. And screw it in tight. Take our welpers, cut it off, thread it through, and push it into the liner. Now push the other roller down and clamp it. Put our washer on there, our spring, and our nut. Tighten it just enough so that it doesn't spool itself. All right. Now for the gun itself, we'll take off our nozzle. And this came with 030 tips, but I went ahead and bought some 035. Hobart and Miller are the same. So if you have Miller tips, these will also work in there. Put your nozzle back on. Our power plug. 
and it comes with two adapters. We have a 250 volt or we have a 125 volt. This is universal so all we have to do, if you look on the side here, there's an arrow. And if you look on the plug, there's an arrow as well. So we'll just connect the two, line them up. Once you get it in as far as you can, we'll take and we'll tighten this nut up here. Tighten it all the way. So far, so good. Go ahead and put the tip on. Again, tighten it as tight as possible. Put our diffuser back on. So now we'll set our bottle up and we'll take our regulator here, we'll pull off that rubber protector and this rubber protector. We'll kind of turn it as we're pushing. And we'll take our clamp and our pliers and pull our clamp over. Get that set on there like that. our bottle of gas. Put a new hose in. Now it's time to turn gas on. I'll show you what you're looking for in the regulator. We want about between 25 and 30. Quarter inch bite, use a piece of quarter inch steel. Okay, you can see right here, this is my first pass. It's a little cold, but not much spatter. Right here, it's starting to look a little bit better. Kind of what we're looking for. A few more tweaks, I think we'll have it. I don't think that. Uh, this machine has any problem doing quarter inch. Three eighths, I, I think that three eighths would be a little too much for it, but quarter inch seems to perform pretty well. So now we'll try a fillet weld on 16 gauge. As you can see, the weld looks, well, it's consistent, sort of, but really hot. That's the parameters they showed me. So then I'll try it again using my own parameters. So there I dropped it down a notch. It's still pretty hot. I think it just might take time to figure out the wire speed and the voltage settings. recommend the Hobar 210 MVP. The only thing I really didn't like about it was the short power cord. As far as welding, it seemed to weld pretty decent. And you're only going to get better probably if you spend two or three thousand dollars on a welder. This was $889. It performs 100 times better than the previous welders that I had. The duty cycle on this is 30% for 
220 volt or 230 volt. Otherwise, it's 20% at 115 volt. Granted, I, I would like something a little more for what I do, but for the price, you can't really go wrong. I also like how you can attach a spool gun to it. No problem. The spool gun itself is about $210. Uh, you can run stainless, aluminum, and solid steel through that. I'm really glad that I bought it. I like the 10 foot big gun. It's nice and light. Yeah, 10 foot work lead also works really great. I also like having the option where I can plug in 230 volt or 115 volt. Um, you never know if you're going to have to go somewhere and help somebody out. Chances are they're not going to have 230 volts. So if you like the video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, uh, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding the bell. Alright, thanks for watching.